As the name suggests, tide gauges were originally developed for the sole purpose of monitoring tidal fluctuations in sea level in order to aid safe navigation in port operations. Early tide gauges, such as those used in the late 18th century, consisted of little more than graduated markers on sea walls or posts against which the sea surface could be measured by eye when they were used to record and then forecast the times and heights of high and low tides each day. So seafarers and harbour masters could use these forecasts to allow vessels to enter shallow water on a high tide and therefore avoid running aground. And in a similar way, low tides would allow vessels to safely pass beneath low bridges. Tide gauges are still used for this purpose today by port authorities, fishermen and other seafarers, but they look very different to the tide gauges of the past. In 2016, a tide gauge was installed at Ganters Bay in St Lucia by the UK's National Oceanography Centre with assistance from the St Lucia Meteorological Service and the Ministry of Physical Development. This tide gauge has three sensors to monitor sea level, two of which are located underwater and monitor the height of the overlying water column. The third sensor is a radar sensor and this measures the height of the sea surface from above. The tide, this tide gauge has been recording sea level at one minute interval since 2016, allowing the St Lucia Meteorological Service to produce tide tables that show times and heights of sea level to help with navigation in castries. Now the St Lucia government has commissioned the National Oceanography Centre to install three more tide gauges in Soufrière, Denry and Vaufort, which will provide valuable tidal information to help seafarers and port authorities in these important locations. But these tide gauges have other purposes too, such as for tsunami warning. Tsunami warning systems use seismic networks to detect submarine earthquakes and then use computer models to estimate when and where tsunamis will strike. Tide gauge observations are used to verify the model predictions and improve model performance as well as to withdraw tsunami warning alerts when danger has passed. But some tsunamis are generated by other mechanisms, such as submarine landslides or volcanic eruptions, and these tsunamis are not detected by seismic networks. Instead, tide gauges are often the first means of observing these types of events and give advance warning of the need to evacuate other locations in the path of the tsunami. Tide gauges are used in a similar way for monitoring storm surges which are generated when low air pressure and winds cause the sea to pile up on shore. These surges are common during hurricane season and the Ganters Bay tide gauge was used to monitor the arrival of both hurricanes Irma and Maria in September 2017. Planning authorities can use the maximum heights recorded by tide gauges during storm surges to help them decide how high to build coastal defences and protect coastal populations from the dangers of flooding. Tide gauges can also be used to define a geodetic datum. Now this is a reference surface that is used as a starting point to create maps. Mean sea level is often used as a national datum and is calculated over a period of a few years using a tide gauge. Geodesists and surveyors can then use that national datum to create starting or reference points for maps, property boundaries, construction surveys and other similar work. One very important use of tide gauges to scientists is to measure the long-term changes in sea level that are associated with climate change. The latest report of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change shows that global mean sea level has risen by around 20 centimetres since 1901 and this information is largely based upon records from tide gauges. Computer model predicts that, that sea level is likely to rise by a further 20 centimetres in the next 30 years, so it's essential that we keep using tide gauges to understand whether these predictions are correct and to allow governments to prepare and protect against increased co coastal flooding. The St Lucia network of tide gauges is an exciting development because it will benefit so many different stakeholders. It will protect coastal inhabitants, infrastructure and commerce, and enable government authorities to prepare for and mitigate against the impact of natural disasters.